Hey everybody, we're going to do an installment of Dave's Garage. <clears throat> we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to pair up your Bluetooth adapter to your Triumph and your Android device. I'm using a tablet in this case. It's a Samsung Galaxy A tablet. It's like $199. <clears throat> I've got a, an Android phone, but doing maps and things on the phone, while it works, it's the screen's smaller, so you're doing a lot of pinching and zooming and stuff, whereas I, I like having the bigger real estate when it comes to, you know, using the maps and stuff. So what you want to do is take off your seat, find your diagnostic plug that sits right there between the fuse box and the battery. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Some things I'm very good at one-handed, other things not so much. So let's go ahead and put that in. We've got power. What you want to do is there's a little green button, right there. Push that so that it puts it into pairing mode. And you want to go to your Android device, go to settings, go to Bluetooth, and find the ODB link. So available devices down here, ODB link, pairing. Yes, let us pair it. All right, cool. So now we're paired, so, okay? So what we want to do is now go to our Tune ECU app. Turn on the bike. Now normally if you're gonna flash an ECU and stuff, I would go in here and pull the headlight fuse and then put a battery tender on here just to make sure your voltage doesn't drop in the middle of the, the flash because it takes like 18 minutes and we don't want it to disconnect and, and break your ECU. Just for doing something like this could be fairly simple. So what you wanna do now is, I don't even know what map I've got open, but it, let's just make sure I open this. I'm not gonna flash a map anyway. So it was a Trident map I was working on for somebody. So if I go to Speed Twin, go to my VIN range. Where the hell did I put my maps here? Let's go out here to uh, Downloads. Uh, U.S. Canadian X-Pipe custom. Okay, so what I want to do now is, I, I didn't really have to do that. I just want to make sure, eh, it's just my OCD. So what you want to do is go up to ECU and connect. Now, this has connected to this before, obviously, because I flashed it. Now, the first time, it may say, well, what device do you want to use? And it'll list uh, your Bluetooth devices. Click on the ODB link. If it asks you anything after that, it's going to be what type of ECU. You want to pick Triumph and Kaihan. It's a, uh, yeah, that name right there. It's a Kyan CPU. So, or ECU, whatever. <clears throat> All right, so now once you're connected, scroll over to your in the dials and diagnostic areas. And what you want to do is go to ECU, tests and adjustments, and then go over here to adjustments. And you want to hit reset service interval. Okay, make sure the glare is on there. So just in case you missed it, I mean, you could rewind it, but let's just do it again. Make sure you can see it uh, well. Let's move this. Let's move this over here. Maybe we'll get better lighting. Yeah, a little less glare. So scroll over to your diagnostics, go to ECU, tests and adjustments, adjustments. This is where you do your reset adaptation. So after you flash a new map, you come in here and do that. You want to hit reset service interval and you're going to hit run. Now, I think it's going to ask me for... Okay, so good. I'm going to cancel out of here because I've already done mine. I don't want to throw my schedule off. So it's going to ask you, you know, do you want to reset it for however many miles? If you're in Europe and you think in kilometers, you can just leave it. It's a standard 10,000 kilometer. Or if you're in the U.S., it's 1,000. You hit validate, and it'll go through, and it'll turn off the service wrench. Now, mine's not on because I've already done mine, but some people were asking, like, hey, how do you do this? That's how you do it. You get your Bluetooth adapter, pair it to the device, just like you would pair a set of speakers or a watch or anything else, right? Just go into your Bluetooth and pair it together, launch up to an ECU, and then when you connect, um, it'll ask you, how do you want to connect? You find your ODB link that you just Bluetoothed, select that from the list. If it asks you for the CPU, it's Triumph. At least in this case, it's Cayenne. Now, if you have a different Triumph, an older one or something that might have a, a Sagum or something else, you know, know which ECU you've got. But the beauty of it is if you try one and it doesn't work, it'll fail. You can go back and try the other one, okay? And then you follow my steps, scroll over, go to ECU. Um, what the hell was it? ECU 
tests and adjustments, adjustments, reset interval, and then just follow the instructions. It's really kind of a no-brainer. And this is where you can get into other things. Like if you wanted to pull error codes, let's say you had a, a check engine light on the dash, you can go to error codes, and if it was in there, you'd be able to click it and clear it. Now, if it comes back, then you know it's a problem and not just a fluke or whatever. But there's all kinds of other things. I'm not going to do a – this is all I wanted to do today. How do you reset your maintenance minders on, the, on this particular Triumph? Um, I've done it on the Strict Triple RS. I did it on a bobber, did it on a street cup. This is this practice for most of the bikes. Now, there may be some of the newer bikes out there that you can tune and do certain things for, but you can't do that. Even though they're all Triumphs, come on. There are um, certain things you can and can't do on certain models. So if I go to my parameters here, I can get rid of the top speed limiter, but there's no point. This bike isn't going to go faster than that. Um, but I can't control the fan temps. But if I go to a three-year-old T100, I can. So there are variations between bikes. So I can't say that this reset uh, maintenance minder will work on every single Triumph. It'll work on most. It sh I, I think it works on all of them, but I'm not 100% sure. I know some bikes allow me to control the fan temp. This one doesn't. Others can turn off SAI, but not O2. You know, there's just some bikes are programmed differently, and there's different limitations. So anyway, without making this too long, hopefully that helps you. If you've got questions, throw them in the comment section, and I'll do my best to answer and help you out.